morning? How's everybody feeling this morning? Hey, man. Well, this is how I'm feeling. Hit me. Come on. Stand to your feet. We're going to pump this thing up. Get it started like never before. This is the anniversary. Come on. Do you like it?
got the electric heat going on inside of you today, man. Amen. We're going to keep it pushing, keep it flowing. Say, next flow. We're going to bring it bring to the to the podium without any further ado. A good friend of mine. I'm glad I was able to, to do the introduction of, of this brother and because uh, he's dear to my heart. Amen. But my friend, my brother, doctor, pastor, bishop, you call him whatever you want, but he is the uh, Los Angeles chapter, the South Southern California, the 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 the, uh, the L.A. civil rights leader of this county, and he helps us so many ways. He's done some great things, but uh, he'll get a chance to tell you about himself, Amen. As he comes, and uh, he's going to be our MC today. So, without any further ado, put your hands together for Pastor Eddie Justice Jones Jr. How y'all doing today? All oh, for the mighty God we serve, but we are here, first of all, giving honor and glory to God Almighty in the name of Jesus. And uh, I want to say something. This brother right here, before he leaves the stage, everybody watching at home, everybody watching here, wherever you are right now, today is the anniversary of a, of a man that has done some phenomenal things. And I, I have marched with this brother in the community. I have worked with him behind the pulpit. I've worked with him feeding the homeless. I've worked with him, I can't even name it all. But this man right here has been all the way to the White House. Yes, yes. Uh, he has a pen that represents the work that he does in his community. He, uh, I am honored beyond words today to be the MC, but it's more to it than just being the MC. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not even, I'm excited about the master ceremony, but I'm more excited about a man who's doing God's work, amen? Because some people be pretending to do God's work, amen? Some people be playing like they're doing God's work. Some people be acting like they're doing God's work. Don't get me started this morning. I just might want to preach about it. I gotta tell you, this anniversary, let's give this man a hand, Pastor E. Hamilton. I love this dude. I love this man. Because I've seen him, people come by hungry. He has food sitting out there, y'all. He feeds the people every week. He gives the people, I, I'm not talking about no junk food. Fruits, vegetables, meat, bread, peanut butter, jelly. When During the pandemic, when some, some churches were shut down, this brother's church was open 24-7. He was feeding the people and giving them what they need. And so, I'm honored that we're having an anniversary and appreciation service for our dear brother, our dear brother, and I call him Dr. Bishop, Pastor E. Hamilton. Amen, let's give him another hand, y'all. Right, right, right. uh, I, I had to get that out, so. <laughs> I had to get that out. To all the ministers, bishops, deacons, deaconess, uh, uh, exhorters, evangelists, and all the church members and every auxiliary of the church. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I wanna give a big shout out to a wonderful, wonderful, I'm gonna even take the mic over here and say, how are you doing this morning? I am doing blessed, 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 bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. Amen. I am Frankie Haynes, and I actually am the coordinator of all of this thing oh, that's sure. happening. Yeah. That's why you came yeah. over. But I, we're so happy to have everyone. I know we're going to do um, a welcome later on. We're so happy to have everyone here represented, all the smiling faces. God is so good. Yes, he is. He is so good. He yes, is so he wonderful. Is. And you can't be him. And yeah. his giving to you, okay. right? Yeah, and he gives us blessings and uh, every day. Tender, loving, uh, uh, grace, and mercy falls on amen. us every day. So that's all I have to say. Amen. 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 Let's give a big hand for Frankie. I, I, you know, okay. Amen. I know we're supposed to keep our mask on, you guys, but right now I want to thank God that the governor and the president of the United States said we should have our mask off by May. By the end of May, we should not have to wear a mask anymore. So 
I don't know about y'all, but I'm not taking a shot. Thieves. <laughs> no shots. No shots. No shots. No. No shot. I thank you, God, for vitamin C and all those other great vitamins. Bro. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, COVID-19 ain't no joke, y'all. And you know, when they get, and Pastor E, you know, they killed a lot. They killed a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, please take your seat with love and honor. I so apologize. I, you know what? Stand up for what you believe in us. No, <laughs> now, um, I'm honored to be here this morning. On another serious note, um, I run an organization called the Los Angeles Civil Rights Association. I'm the president and CEO. And I also have a radio show called the Eddie Jones Radio Talk Show. And tomorrow, our special guest is going to be a guy named Don Wyatt. And Don Wyatt, he's been the musical director for The Temptations, uh, Anita Baker. Wow. This dude has been around for a long time. Earth, Wind, and Fire, you name it. So he's going to be on our show tomorrow talking about music. And music has a lot to do with civil rights, believe it or not. Because a lot of those songs help us to get through the civil rights era. So, you know, I'm honored. And like I said, marching with Pastor E., he is relentless, man. I apologize for just telling the truth about you, brother. But this brother right here is a real brother. Yeah. I know sometimes I call up some brothers and I'll be like, hey, man, can you help me out? I'm going to be there for you. But when the day comes, they're not there. I know some brothers that I say, hey, man, look, we're going to be doing this over here right now. Can you come by and support us? I'm going to be there. The day comes, they're not there. But every time I call Pastor E, I, without doubt, he's there. And that's what, that's, that's what you call a real brother. Amen. Now, when they threw Joseph in the hole and they didn't know that Joseph was going to be a great leader, they didn't know nothing. But see, Joseph had a forgiving heart, didn't he? Because even though his brothers did him wrong, amen, and I'm talking about the work that we do every day. Even though your brothers do you wrong, you still love on them, amen? amen. You still love on them. And that's what Pastor E does. He leads by example. He still loves on the brothers even if they do him wrong. And so I've seen him get up early in the morning when everybody else is still asleep and help set up a whole church yeah. all by himself. And then these are the results. <laughs> the mighty man of God deserves an anniversary. He really does. You know, come on in, you guys. You're not late. You're right on time. Amen. Give them a hand, y'all, because they're here. I always tell people, you know, like... I, Pastor, yeah, I hope you don't mind if I just share this. Uh, George Floyd, just the family just got a settlement for $27 million. Uh, but I was praying that the $27 million would help make changes to keep the knees off of our brothers and sisters' necks. Amen? Yeah. I'm not worried about the money, amen? That's right. I'm more concerned about the civil rights, the constitutional rights, the human rights, and justice, yeah. and equality for all people. Yeah. You know, I don't want no knees on nobody's necks. Yeah. Not our men, our women, or our children. And so I'm praying that, that, that what, because I was there with George Floyd and the George Floyd's family. Matter of fact, I was with Ahmaud Aubrey's family, and then I got the news. I was down in, in Atlanta marching with them. We led a, led a march of 10,000 people. And then after that, I got a phone call from my hotel room saying, you got to get to Minnesota right away. And I'm like, what? And next thing I know, my, my secretary had already booked my ticket. I got there, met with the George Floyd family. We marched. It was it was really unbelievable, y'all. It was unbelievable. So one thing about Pastor E. Hamilton, he's making sure uh, with other organizations, he, he, he links up with other organizations and other churches to get the job done. Yeah. Because no one man is an island. And that's what we need, a brother who is not afraid to link up with other brothers. Yeah. Because we have to organize and galvanize because strength runs in numbers, amen? amen. Now, when I worked on the wrongful death of Michael Jackson, and the wrongful death of Whitney Houston, and I work with Bobby Brown and his family, and, and so I can't even name it all. When they do doing all the killing in the Men's Central Jail, and uh, they had the 3,000 gang, and they were beating the brothers up and putting them in the hole and tell the family that they were in the hole because they were on punishment. Well, they weren't, and so we took them to the Supreme Court and we won the case. Amen. So that's what we got to do, y'all. That's what we got to do. As a, as a, Y'all should be clapping for that because you don't know how many African American and Latino males have been beat up in that jail by those sheriffs, amen? Oh, yeah. oh, and man. have lost their lives. And they gave up their lives so that we can fight for their lives, amen? amen? So when I think about Malcolm and Martin and all the great people who have helped pave the way to, for us to be where we are, I also have to add in Pastor E. Hamilton. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
now, now, now sometimes people don't get their, their, their gratitude and flowers until they're in the grave. I want to give it to you while you're alive, amen? Yeah. I don't want to wait till you're dead and then start getting up there. Yeah, he's a great brother. No, he's a great brother right now, amen? amen. He's a great brother today, amen? And that's amen. what we got to do. So I'm going to, you know, kind of cool down a little bit now. I got excited, you know. I hope y'all don't mind if I get excited. <laughs> but it's something to be excited about, ain't it? Yeah. How many times in a year do you get to have an anniversary to, to give someone honor, you know? I mean, we give honor to money, we give honor to a whole bunch of stuff, but when do we give honor to our brothers and sisters? Amen. Amen. So, oh yeah, by the way, uh, just this past month, this month was International Women's Month, so let's give a hand for all the ladies. <laughs> to all the ladies, they, you know, where we be without the women, you know, nurturing us and telling us it's okay, you can still get to work today, even though your toe is hurting. Get, get up, get your boots, I'll see you after work, I'm going to have a nice dinner for you. And, and on payday, I'm going to make sure all the clothes are washed and everything's clean, and we're going to be all right. <laughs> Don't forget to give me my money for my hair, my nails, and my feet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, love is, <laughs> love is a mini splendor thing. Love is beautiful. And I'm just enjoying being here today. And I told my church members, I said, I'll be back to preach next week, but I got, I got something to do this week. So I'm going to skip out to another church. And that's the now church, y'all. The now church. Not yesterday, not, uh, not tomorrow, but right now, the now church. So everybody out there at home or wherever you are, if you're sick and shut in, thank you for tuning in. Because this is amazing. Amen. 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 So without further ado, I'm going to uh, call up our uh, Jeremiah Berryman. He's going to give us a scripture, Romans 12, verse 1 through 2. Uh, are you here, my brother? Yes, sir. Come on up here, man. Take the floor. Let's give him a hand, man. How are everybody doing today? It's my first time up here, so bear with me. I'm going to read Romans 12, verse 1 through 2. Amen. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Amen. Holy, yes. acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, Ooh, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah, that you prove yes. what is that good, good. acceptable, acceptable, perfect will of God. Phenomenal, man. That was phenomenal. Uh, I want to call up minister. Just do the next two together. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to do the next two together, which is prayer Amen. and the welcome. So we'll call up minister Curtis Odom. And also, Helen, that will be minister Curtis Odom. Come on up. Yeah. After that, we will have Providence Lori uh, Melowitz with tributes. No, no, no. No, we have praise and worship. Okay, After praise the worship. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's been a long time since I've been back up here, but praise God. Any, time, any new visitors here today? Welcome. Amen. We ain't going to have you talk. We ain't going to embarrass you today. You know, our journey will bring a mic down to you and say something, but, you know, COVID, we got to stay six feet apart. But, you know, God bless y'all for coming on out here. Amen. So, uh, I'm going to do prayer too, right? Yes. You know, uh, this week I, I learned in the Bible we talk about prayer, and we should pray all the time, even when we go through things. We're going through COVID, but COVID's almost over. That's what they say. But I believe God already healed half of us already. Hallelujah. So, dear Father, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the one-year anniversary for Pastor in the church, Lord. Lord, thank you for opening the doors to this church, Lord. Lord, thank you for Pastor E being in the this community, Lord, Amen. and doing the work that he hopes to do for you and, and the people, Lord. Lord, let's thank you for waking us up this morning to see yes. another day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you for people coming out thank you, to this one-year anniversary, Lord. Lord, we ask you to watch our words, guide us, Lord. We ask you to watch over this world, Lord. We ask you to heal this nation, Lord. We know that COVID's 
is not bigger than you. Amen. We know that you're bigger than COVID. Yes, yes. Lord, will you also give us common sense yes. to yes. stay away and stop partying like crazy people? Right. Yes. Well, Lord, we're going to say thank you. Yes, you're going to heal this world and we're going to go back to normal, Lord. Lord, bless the families that's struggling. Bless yes. the families that's struggling with their business, Lord. Yes. We know that it's, it's hard times right now, Lord, but we know that she's always a will and a way. Lord, thank you for everything you've done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's time for praise and worship, Sister Vicky Love. I'm standing in for Vicky Love. They said I couldn't do nothing unless somebody didn't show up. Hey. Ah, so here I am. <laughs> you know, I just want to say this. You, you, if you know me, you know I don't do this. I've been doing this a long time, 33 years with P2P, seven with the Now Network, and one year with the Now Church California, and this is the first ever celebration anniversary for me. Amen. I'm so honored, I'm so honored, but, but if you just do what God instructs you to do, that's enough anniversary for me. If you get to the level that God has called you in your life, and I was a part of it, then it, and it only need one. I only need one. But if one just says, I went to a place because of you, then I know I've done what God has told me to do. Amen? Amen. Come on, stand to your feet as we worship him today. Amen. We're going to praise him. Because I want to be used any kind of way that I can. That's why I give myself to him. That he can know that I'm a servant of his. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Come on, just lift your hands and worship Him today. I give, I give myself away so you, so you. So you
myself away to you. I offer up a living sacrifice, Jesus. So you, so you. Come on, tell it like you mean it. Oh Lord, I give myself. I give myself. It's not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself To you Come on you can sing it with me this morning My life My life is not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself To you Come on tell it in your own voice I'm 
Glory to God. Glory to God. I just want to serve you. Hey, what we want to do? What we trying to be, Pastor E? I just want to be a better person. Yeah. Be a better man. Yeah. Be there for my daughter. Be a family man. You know what I go through when I am alone? You know what I go through when I am alone? Father, don't you tell this Oh, 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 oh. Hey. I am a living testimony. Walk a miracle. Physical, spiritual. From the village, not the feel it. Can you feel it? This is part of my healing. It's time that we build a bigger building. It's time that we feed it for our children. It's time that we teach them how to love. And show them how to feel it. See, all of my life, I've been running from myself. Well, now that I found Christ. I'm so glad I found Christ. He was with me when I fell. With me in the cell. With me when everybody was in hell. He is the one who brought me back to life. He is the reason for my sacrifice. I am a prophet speaking prophecy. Been on the mission, they no stopping me. Was given the vision to be whole and possibly change on our consciousness. If you really love him, follow me. The greater he is who's inside of me. The greater you are if you let him lead you to your freedom to be reborn. Praise oh, God. God bless you all. Come on. Who wants to serve me today? God bless you. Put your hands in the air. Make some noise. I just want to serve. God is good. God is great. Better God, we love you. Better God. I just want to serve you. Be a better person, be a better man. Tell a pastor. Be there for my daughter, be a family man. Be a better person, be a better man, be there for my daughter, be a family man. Know what I go through when I am alone. Know what I go through when I am alone. Father, I need you can't do this alone. God bless everybody. We love you. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just a little, just a little, put it over there, put it over there, put it over there. Just a little something different for praise and worship. Amen. Amen. But you know, we need him to be in this place today. And we want to worship him like never before. Amen. Amen. Yes, we are. Come on, lift your hands in this place. Let your glory fill this place. Yes, Lord. Let your all consume me. Fire, fill this tabernacle. Surround us in this place. Breathe new alive within me. Send a refreshing law. Saturate my heart. Let your glory fill. Let your own consume me. Fire. Fill this tabernacle. Come on, say this part with me. Surround us in this place. Refreshing love, saturate. I dare you to lift your hands and say, I need you to rain. Holy Spirit, come on, shower down, shower down, send your spirit, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Shower down, shower down, sit your spirit, Lord. Let your glory feel. Let your own consume me. Fire, fill this tabernacle, Jesus. Shower down, shower 
down. Send your spirit, Lord. Come on, say. Spirit breathe. Shower down. Shower down. Send your spirit, Lord. Come on, just tell me, say,
I got to speak to this side of the room. Peace. That's one word. We over here, two questions. Watch this, watch this. Joy. Peace. Joy. Peace. Joy. Peace. Joy. Shower down. Shower down. And send your spirit love. Come on, make some noise for Jesus in this place today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no mistakes when it comes to Jesus. He knew he wanted him up here to do praise and worship today. You know we miss the hour. It's bad when you lose an hour. It, 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 it's, it's bad when you notice you lost an hour. What about the minutes you be throwing away every day? I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to turn it back over. Come on, one more time. Just praise the Lord in this place. I'm telling you, he's in the midst. Where you might have came here with one thing, I'm telling you, leave it here. Most churches tell you to leave it out there. I'm telling you to leave it here. Don't leave, bring it to the church. Leave it at the church. Let us that pray, pray. Let us that slay, slay. Let us that stand, stand. Let us that get the gap, gap. But don't leave here with it. The smallest, minute thing you thought you could handle, God says, leave it. Cast all your cares on the Lord. Won't he do it? That's bad when the MC look at his watch. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Y'all having a good time? Yeah. Give yourselves a hand. Amen. My, my, my. Ain't God good? I don't know about y'all. But I had the Holy Ghost over here, and, and uh, I felt like I was kind of floating on cloud nine without any drugs. Amen. amen. I was high on Jesus. Amen. Hey. You ever get high on Jesus? Yeah. You, you don't need no weed or no chronic or crank or whatever they got out there. No cocaine. No, you don't need no. You don't need no Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? You ever get high on Jesus? Amen. I don't know about you, but right now I'm high on Jesus. Amen. I don't know about later. No, I'm just messing with you. But uh, we got, we're here to have a good time, and I got to tell you, brother, that song was amazing, man. Yeah. Man, that, man, I was over here. I felt like I was like about 23. I was like, yeah, I got this. I can do it. Yeah, that's what my son said. He said, like, bounce, Dad. Bounce. And I said, okay, son. Am I bouncing it up? <laughs> and the prayer that we had, wasn't it amazing? Let's give the pastor a hand because the prayer was prayer. Prayer. We need more prayer. Amen. And, and when you get in a situation, just stop and start praying and watch God make a miracle take place. That's Amen. right. That's right. You know, because we could be going through the, the most utmost thing, whether it's at the job, with the kids or family or what, just even driving and somebody cut you off all of a sudden. You'd be like, dear Lord, please don't let me pull out my 38 right now. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. I was just about to pull it out. But Lord, you stopped me. Thank you, Lord. It's the one back under the seat. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Even though we don't carry 38s, you know, our brain can be a 38, amen? You can just, like, put your finger out and go, pow, and they look at you and go, what? And they drive off real quick. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, we're at Pastor's Anniversary. We're having an appreciation service for Pastor E, who's done some amazing things. And not only does he preach, and march and do all that stuff, but the brother can sing too. Amen. <laughs> He'd be tearing up some praise and worship. I'd be like, give me your mic. I want to do it with you, brother. <laughs> See, I have background back Yes, sir. You have a little background. I was trying to, you know, be like the temptations a little bit. Uh, you know, but while we're having fun, let's get back to the program. And uh, right now it's offering time. Amen. And, and before we go into deep in the offering, I want to tell you something. You can't be God's given, amen? amen. I don't amen. care how much money you think you put in there, look at what God has done for you. Amen. And 10% of your earning is nothing compared to what God has been giving you over these years. Amen. If you really look around, look around, look around, you will say to yourself, boy, I'm doing really great. I got a car, I got a roof over my head, I got some nice clothes, I, I eat pretty good food, I'm doing pretty good. So let me give back, let me, let me, now, now when you're giving, don't just think about I'm giving up my money. No, think about what you're giving to God. 
You're giving it to God. You're not giving it to man because guess what? Man might think he's doing something, but God already got a plan for it. Amen? Hallelujah. So I'm not going to preach, preach that too long. You can't be God's giver no matter how you try. The more you give, the more he'll give to you. Just keep on giving because it's really true. That you can't be God's giving no matter how you try. So without further ado, let's call up. Uh, oh, am I still on the Amen, amen. Okay, so now, now, you know, they say that giving is very important. Amen. Because the church, the church is a business, y'all. Y'all know that, right? You got to keep the lights on at the church. And did y'all walk past that table out there? Did you see all them goodies out there? That costs money. Amen. Did you see the orange juice and the apple juice and the pineapple juice out there? Did you see the donuts and the croissants and all that stuff right there? Hey, man, y'all don't know. You got to turn the lights on up in here before you can do anything. Amen. Ain't that right, Pastor Reed? You got to turn the electricity on to make the church work. If you look above your head right now, what y'all see up there? You see some lights, amen. Woo, man. Yes. And, and look at all this equipment here. He has state-of-the-art equipment to make sure that you can have the best church service that you possibly could within reason of COVID-19, amen. I mean, look at this nice, beautiful tent and all the, oh, it's just immac immaculate. It's wonderful. And I want to say a big old blessing. Uh, I don't know. Hi there. Could you stand up, please? Yes, yes, you. Look, look. Oh, my. Look, I just, I, I, I want to be. I mean, he, the man, he's the man. Take your seat with love and honor, y'all. Oh, yes, yeah, they're going to have a girl. That's what they said. Yeah. <laughs> but I said, yeah, he said, Lord, Lord. 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 <laughs> And then tell them, the, the audience out here how they can give. You can go to the Now Chat on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube, anybody, any way out there. If you want to sow into the ministry, this is good ground. You will receive harvest. That's a guarantee. But uh, the Now Church Cali, one word, C-A-L-I, -L the Now Church Cali. Or you can go to. Uh, what about Cash App? That is Cash App. Oh, that's Cash yeah, App, yeah. The now Church Cal. That's all they use now. That's it. Cash Amen. App. We bless you guys. Amen. 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 Thank you all so much for whatever you give. <laughs> whatever it is, God's going to bless it. And I just want to, you know, I want to pray over it. Is that okay, Pastor? Can we go ahead and pray? Yeah. Uh, please bow yeah, your head. Yeah, let's get it moving. Let's, let's keep Heavenly moving. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for those that gave and those who could not give. But whatever it is, God, I ask that you touch their home and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Let there be manifestation, rehabilitation, rejuvenation, and restoration in everything that we're doing right now, God. Now, Father, if we've done anything wrong in thought, word, or deed, a mission or commission, please forgive us right yes, now, Lord. God. Now that we're watched as white as snow, God, we just thank you for this giving. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Now, you know, um, we're going to move right along with the program here. And... Uh, Now, I want to do all of these together. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Um, okay, so I want to give a tribute to Prophetess Lori Melowitz. And Prophetess Lori, if you're watching right now, you know that we were together yesterday when you had your church program online. I was at work yesterday, but I still had you online. I had you in my ear. And you prayed for so many people yesterday. We want to give a tribute to you right now. Prophetess she'll be, Lori Melowitz. She'll, she'll be on next week on and, Zoom. And you will be on Zoom next week. And the whole uh, congregation everybody, everybody else... Uh, I see people waving out there on Facebook Live. I can't get over there and hit the button and wave back at you. So I'm going to do this right here. See? Hey, there we go. Uh, I'm waving at you. All of you guys, I'm waving at you right now. And God loves you and so many is that we love one another. Amen. You know, love your neighbors. Yeah. I know it's hard sometimes when they, when they let the dog walk by on your lawn and everything. You go out there and go, hey, can you get that? And they, in an earthquake situation, we need each other as neighbors. Amen. With this pandemic going on, I mean, people couldn't even high-five each other. It seemed like the government had us separated. And for some reason, you could go to the club, you could go to the bar, but you couldn't go to church. And I, I was upset about that, Pastor. I was like, what? You can go to the club, you can go party, but you can't go to church? And so that told me something about the government. Amen. I ain't going to go too deep. I'm not going to get deep. I'm going to move right along. Yeah. So we want to give a shout out to Prophet Lori Mellowis. But I, we, we got more than an hour, right? Huh? Oh, we passed an hour. We passed an hour? Yeah. Okay. You, you, you have my boundary right now. It's going to get you in the chair. Now, also, I want to give a shout out. Oh, they're doing the trip. Oh, 
they're coming up here doing the tributes. Oh my! God. It's my anniversary. Uh, I'm, I'm not their anniversary. You're right. Okay, well, Pastor E has me up here being a comedian today, and I just want you to know I think I hope I'm very funny. But anyway, <laughs> but I love it. But we've been having fun in the name of Jesus today. Yes, we have. And, and I'm loving it. I'm really having a good time. Um, okay, so who's going to come up right now? Mr. Carolyn. Mr. Carolyn, give her a big hand. Give her a big hand. Carolyn Hamilton. Um, Pastor and I have the last same last name, but I, I think we are kind of kin. Um, <laughs> that is my spiritual father. Um, I, I might get a little emotional when it comes okay. to um, my pastor. I come from a, a crazy lifestyle, That's all right. um, but Pastor E took me in and loved me unconditionally Amen. when no one else would besides my parents and they're gone. Um, he calls me on my mess. Um, he will help you. He will push you to your limits. Amen. He'll even help you pay your tithes. Um, I had someone send Pastor E $150 last week because my cash app didn't work. And then the ladies and the pastor gave me $100 for my birthday. So I was telling Pastor E what to do with the money. Well, cash out this to the mailman and cash. And then he goes, at, at $25 for your tithes? It's like, so he was counting my money too. <laughs> he knew 10% of that. And I was at home the other night and I laid in my bed and I started busting up laughing. I'm like, Pastor E, <laughs> but it was, I have to pay my tithe. So um, I just want to tell you, Pastor E, that I love you so much. And um, I really treat this man like he's my father. When I want some, I call him. He never says no. I have an organization called Sisters Working Against Gang Violence. And when I tell you if it wasn't for Pastor E, I would have, I wouldn't have survived. It's like all our events, he takes care of it. If we make him food, he's on front with the food. Sometimes I can't pay the rent at the office. He tells us how to do it. Sometimes he won't give. He'll tell you how to make it happen. And, and, and it never fails. So just for him to love somebody so broken Amen. like me, right. it, it means a lot. And sometimes I kind of have to ease up off the gas. And he'll be like, what I do to you, you ain't called me. I'm like, I'm trying to give you a break. And Minister Franklin says he does what he wants to do. You know, if he ain't told you to stop, then, you know, keep on up. I want you to know that I may not have everything that I wish I had. Amen. But one thing that I do have, and that's you in my life, and I love you so much. Amen. 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 You already know. Which one? I think that's it. Oh, no. Uh, Car uh, Elder okay, Carlos. Without further ado, let's call up Elder Carlos right now. Elder Carlos, please take the floor. Carlos! Let's give Carlos! Him Change in the mask. 
<laughs> real talk. Real talk. Real quick. Yeah, see what COVID-19 has done to us? We got to change the mic and everything to make sure everybody's okay. Right. But I believe that the Lord has already blessed the mic. Amen. Oh, yeah. yeah. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but I'm going to follow protocol just Why? because. But in reality. In reality. Yeah. No shot. No shot. Jesus going to get it already. Amen. 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 There you go, bro. There we go. All right. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I thank God for allowing each and every one of us to be here today. Brother, that was an awesome song yes. uh, for our culture Amen. and giving it up for God. But nevertheless, I would like to say to my dear friend, and I'm a young man in the ministry. And when I met this man years ago, he supported my business. He came up to me. He supported my business. And the man never changed. No. The man been on the same side. I come from West Hampton Church of God in Christ, giving uh, honor to my bishop, Charles Edward Blake. And I'm, I'm a part of a huge organization. Yes, yes, I know a lot of people. But I have never met someone like my friend who never changed and what God called him to do. He been on his side for real. And while I was standing there and filming him, the sun was beaming right in on me. And he said, tell him that I see him. Amen. And he said, tell him, Proverbs 15 and 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place. Amen. Amen. So the things that you do when no one is looking, he stay consistent. All right, now. And it reminds me as a young man in the church and how the world always say that uh, uh, the pastor's taking all the money. And I like what my bishop does. My bishop Charles Edward Blake, he took the money and bought a church. And I like a lot of uh, ministers and you, you know things like that they yes, they they keep the money they still trying to say they raising the building fund but this man takes his own money amen. and amen. give back to the community amen. if i haven't learned anything else from him i'm not concerned about his private life if i haven't learned anything else i learned how to give amen. from this man amen. and he's a giving person amen. everything that god gives us is he is anyway. Yeah. It's a blessing yeah. for him to give it to you uh, yeah. to see what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Because I'm asking, somebody has the keys to your blessing. Yeah. Like he well, did to the young lady. All right. Somebody got the keys to your blessing. Yeah. So you have to, because you don't know, they might have that key to your blessing. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for an apartment, yeah. but because I sat on this side of the church and I start talking to this person, that person hand me the key yeah. to my right. right. And this That's man, this man, uh, me and him go at it. We reeling, raw and uncut. I come from the street life, the gang life, the dope dealing life. I work on skid row with all the homeless and the drug addicts. But this man, anytime if I call him, he gonna show up for real. Yeah. Well, we for real. Yeah. I'm an ex gang member. I'm for real about this. I don't play church. Right. I'm for real about this. Right. I'm with the culture. I'm with the hip hop culture. I'm for real about this. Amen. Yeah. I'm for real about this. God came to the gutter. Yeah. 19 years in and out of the prison system, right. selling dope. God came and got me. He came and got my friend. My friend never changed. I can preach this thing for us. Here we go. For all y'all that don't know, when you meet this man, there's nothing he'll give you the clothes off his back. Like, little. can I have that shirt? You, you really want it? Don't say it if you really don't want it. Because we ain't playing around here. Huh? This is real stuff, y'all. I love the praise and worship, brother. I love the song. I love what you're doing, man. Uh, he said, he called me, man, you better not be late. I told him I'm going to be 20 minutes late. <laughs> he said, yeah, right. But this is my good friend, and uh, I bless you. I bless the woman of God that's going to be coming forth. Amen. Let the Lord use you. Yes. And we need that raw and uncut. Don't hold back. Amen. We need 
need the raw and uncut. Well, you know, uh, uh, we need the raw and uncut. Right. Blessings to each and every one of you guys out there by Zoom, by Facebook. I bless you guys in the name of Jesus. Cover you under the blood in the name of Jesus. And let the spirit of the Lord go from this now network church all the way throughout the land. Yes, in amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just, just let them come. Come on. Amen, amen. All right. And so let's give this young lady a hand that's coming up. Please give her a big hand. All right. And then we'll have Minister Frankie after that, and then we'll move forward. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Prophetess Charlene, and I thank God for this precious, precious blood by opportunity to magnify God and to uh, celebrate the man of God, Pastor Edward E. Hamilton. Amen. And uh, the Lord put a song on my heart. I don't know if I can sing it or not. Um, it's just an encouraging song because you know, people are going through sorrow. People are going through heartbreak. And people have endured great intense pain. But God is a healer. Yes, he is. So I just want to encourage someone's heart today right. with the song. Yeah. It's not to be seen, it's not to you know, entertain anybody, but it is to exalt the Lord. Because he's the one who kicked the devil out of heaven. Amen. Right. He's the one, he's the one. who on. gave us hope yeah. for eternal life. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the song says, Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by no mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hands, thy hands, oh, thy hands, they have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great Because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Every Great morning. is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Amen, amen. I had to let that one out because it came straight from the scriptures. Come on. Great is his faithfulness. And as we move into stirring up the gifts, as we this theme that we have for uh, the pastor's anniversary, the appreciation, just a couple words uh, uh, about that. Hebrews 10 and 23 says, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love 
and good works. Mm -hmm. Pastor E uh, has, is a life calling for him to stir up the gifts, right? Yeah. He uh, has been uh, in the ministry over 35 years. He has a commitment to prayer, praise, and worship, and a love for the scriptures. And he is constantly provoking us to be better, to be to move in our purpose, yeah. and not only move in our purpose, but when timely, move right now uh, in your purpose. So, you know, I just wanted to say a little bit about, you know, him, the Provoke to uh, Purpose Ministries, P2P Ministries, started in March 2000. And the ministries were founded on the belief that uh, it takes, uh, God takes us to another level through worship, that we are charged to move out of our comfort zones and make ourselves available to reach the lost, lost and the unchurched. So when you think about the ministries, P2P Ministries, and you started many years ago in March, March is a pivotal month for Pastor E. Uh, we have the P2P Ministries, and as everyone has said, you know, going in his pocket, feeding the, the, the community, making sure the community is clothed, and making sure, number one, that they know about Jesus, right? Amen, because amen. you hear his voice here every Sunday in the community. They hear you in the back, they hear you out in the front, they hear you over here. So Pastor E and P2P uh, uh, Ministries, and then uh, in March, 2014, I'm just going to take you to March 2014, because remember March, 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 he launched the Now uh, Network, the Not Our Will Network, and that's the blog talk radio, you started with Real Talk with Real Talk with Pastor E, Pastor e Women Speak Now, uh, Man Up the Movement, Getting Over the Hump, Getting Over the Hump was some of the first uh, uh, yeah. Wednesdays, right, Wednesday, and yeah. then uh, of course we have the Get up, wake up, get, get up, up, get up move, your move in your purpose. Uh, now, all of that. Amen. Okay? Hey, Amen. He does everything. Can't keep up, right? Um, and then I'm just going to fast forward because we'll talk more about uh, Pastor E next week, too, because please come back on next week, the 21st. It's going to be a big week uh, for presentations. Um, but March 2020. The Now Church was launched in the middle of a pandemic, and guess what? We are here every Sunday, out here, uh, celebrating the Lord and encouraging folks to get close Amen. to God even in a pandemic. So we're we're excited about the Now Church California. But not only that, I just have to share this, and then I'm going to sit down. I thought I had a tribute for you. Oh, I do. I have a package for you. Um, but um, as the church. Uh, grew can, well, continues to grow. One of the things that's happened over the year is we have fed over a thousand in the community. We've served over 450 meals uh, in the community. We have distributed more than 800 pieces of clothing, blankets, toys, hygiene kits, but most importantly, you have uh, uh, more than 100 souls that have been led to Christ Amen. under the leadership of Pastor E. So we are excited about you. We celebrate you, man of God. We have a gift for you right here. Yeah, just hand that over to the Pat. Yeah, he can have it. And and that's all I have today. Listen, great is God's faithfulness. You cannot be. God is so faithful. Amen. I'm going to let you the mic now. Amen. 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 Oh, oh, wait, one more. Oh, Hallelujah. I got to get it in. Let's, let's, give a hand, young, let's give our young minister a hand, a future minister. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to make it short, though. I appreciate Pastor E. The, the way he came into my life was so interesting. I was working at Food for Less at the time. And I was in, there, in there, um, the um, parking lot pushing carts, right? So I had a shirt idea that I had. And so I was just thinking on that weeks on in, weeks on in. And then just one day it was on my heart to ask this guy named Liko that sold masks in the um, parking lot to customers. It was on my heart to ask him, like, hey, man, like, where you get your, your uh, mask made? And he was like, he didn't tell me who, like, made them, but he was like, Pastor E. And he gave me his number. So he was like, make sure you call him. I called him immediately. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so I called him and was like, hey, Pastor E, this is Jer and my name is Jeremiah. I got a shirt idea I want you to print up. And he was like, that'll work. <laughs> and I was like, I'll come through. I'll come through after I get off of work. So I, after I get off of work, and I came down here immediately. Like I didn't even go home to change or anything. I just came down here, and and it's been like uphill from from here on in. We just been going every Sunday, every day. I've been coming. He's been kind of mentoring me, and I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> yes, sir. So thank yes, you. Amen. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
Now, yes, sir. Well, that, that, to me, that's deeper than the ocean, higher than the mountain, and swifter than the rivers because mentoring is very important, y'all. That's what I was talking about when I first came up here. And I said, this, this is what Pastor E does. This is what he does. And, and, and as you can hear from the people, he's been a blessing to so many people. And I know that God is going to bless him to be a blessing to so many others. So as we continue in our our anniversary oh, celebration of Pastor E. Hamilton today. Thank you for allowing me to MC. And uh, I'll be here on the, is it the 21st? Yes. yes. I'll be here on the 21st and hopefully I can do this again and we can have some more fun. Did y'all have a good time? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, it's time for a praise dance. And let's introduce our praise dancer, uh, Araya Fuqua. Let's give her a big hand, y'all. Fix it. You have to self DJ your own music. <laughs>
Oh, give her a big hand. Give her a stand, stand up, y'all. That sister, y'all don't know how hard that is. Come on back here, right? Oh my God. It we takes a lot in to this see this. The Lord is my light hand. Come on out here, right? There she is right there, trying to catch her breath. You are amazing. Amazing. Araya Fuqua. Let's give it one more hand, y'all. Give it one hand. Thank you so much. That was amazing. God bless you. Amen. Oh my gosh. I got the Holy Ghost. I want to dance. Oh man. Like, you know that? Yeah. You know, I only got two moves. <laughs> like one step and two step, amen. Uh, without further ado, let's give it over to Pastor E. Hey! All right, all right. Let the church say amen. 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 Now I tell you, God doesn't make no mistakes. Amen. Everything God does is purposed, yes. planned. Yeah. And we ain't going to forget nobody. Amen. Amen. You know, we leap forward, so we lost an hour. Everybody get a little mixed up with directions or something. <laughs> amen. That's called favor. I don't know which one I'm going to play for you, but we're going to bring up our praise and worship leader. She is going to usher us in a song, and then the next voice that you will hear from that point on is my sister. Now, I'm celebrating sisters. They say, why you didn't get one of your brothers to preach? Because this is sister's month. And guess what? When I call the brothers, they don't come. When I call the sisters, they show up. And I didn't preach more at her church than she never preached at mine, so she definitely got to preach at mine. Amen, amen. No, she is my sister. We we roll together. But like you said, if she calls, she know I'm coming. And vice versa. If I call, I know she's coming too. And look, she even brought somebody out the woodwork. She knows she only came for you. Okay. Andrea, remember my flag girl? Remember she used to come to the church with me? I said, I said, Apostle Barbara. She said, I'm coming. Okay. Amen, amen. But without any further ado, come on, Vicky. Pick which amen. which one you want to sing. We're gonna bless the Lord. That's what we're gonna do. Amen. 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 Now, this is my friend too. Girl, I gotta say this, you're looking good. Amen. Now, we know Vicky. And Vicky's been coming a long way on health. Girl, it's working. Amen. Now, you may not know nothing about her, but this is re reincarnated Aretha Franklin. Believe that. If you ever see her on the show, you need to go hear her because the girl is bad. But now we're going to let her bless us with a song before we hear the word. The next voice after that will be Apostle Barbara Mann Johnson to Thank deliver God. the word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Edwards. Right. I'm so sorry. I thought it started at 11. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. You hear We're going to bless the Lord. Yeah. We're going to bless him.
Cassidy, uh, thank you. Uh, if you want to say anything, you can. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank you for inviting me out. And um, I met Pastor E about three years ago now, four years. Five. Oh, five. I'm sorry. I met him about five years ago. And he had church across the street from the Sylvia Nunn Angels uh, Foundation in the park. And that's when I first met him. And Pastor E, throughout my journey of um, singing, he has supported me. Whether he came to the show or not, he bought tickets. He has been there for me when I've needed him. And he um, invited me to a church, Hill City. And I came to Hill City. And I rededicated my life to Christ. And I've been on a mission ever since. And I want to thank Pastor Edwards for always being there and being supportive. And he will. He will feed you. He will help you in any way he can. He's a loving, honest, good guy. And I'm glad I met you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Pastor Jones. Now she's coming up. Watch your step. Don't follow it. Come on, put your hands together for Vicky Love. She showed up, showed out. Now I want to also acknowledge a uh, um, e prophetess, evangelist, Minister Charlene. Mr. Charlene has been on the Now Network for five years. Five years. She has dedicated the first week of every, uh, the first Thursday of every month, dedicated on time and does a great work and has a great word for singles. So if you're single. Get on uh, the first Thursday of every month, Women Speak Now with Prophetess Charlene. But without any further ado, I want you to reach your hands towards the podium. I want you to say, Apostle. Apostle. Preach. Preach. Apostle. Apostle. Teach. Teach. Apostle. Apostle. Anoint. Anoint. But most of all, have your way. Praise the Lord, everybody. Right, I want y'all to sing with me, amen. And I know we all can praise God, amen. Put your hands together, come on. Oh. Uh -huh. 
to praise Him. Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, amen, and to this very fine young man, amen, and the ministry, amen, and Pastor E, amen. We always call him Pastor E, amen, but we do know his name is, amen, Dr. Edward Hamilton. <laughs> amen. We are giving reference, we're giving honor to him on today. You may be seated, amen. We're giving honor to him. Amen. Such a, a, a wonderful man of God that does many works. Yes, yes. Amen. And to the now church. Amen. Ministry and to all the ministers. Amen. And to the evangelists, missionaries, prophetess, prophets. Amen. To where all honor is due and also to brother. Amen. Barber. Amen. That's amen. my guest on today. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. I truly thank God for the invite to come out and fellowship with y'all. And I tell you, I am very impressed, amen. amen, amen, because I do see him on Facebook all the time, and I see all the good things, all the works that he does, amen, and all the layout, and so when I came here, amen, I just kind of had a little idea, amen, where I was coming to, so I just thank God again for him and all the works that he's done and has done and things that he are yet to do. Uh, in all of these 35 years. Amen. But I want to say I've enjoyed myself. Everything that I've heard, everyone that spoke so well, amen, and spoke about you and just was so heart touching, amen. amen. Because Pastor E does not mind, amen, going out, reaching out, amen. It doesn't matter whatever your status is, amen. Whether you're young, old, black, ugly, pretty, rich, or poor, amen. Gonna do the work, amen. Amen. So today is his day. So if I talk about him a little bit more today, that's all right, amen. This is his day, amen. The Lord has set this day aside for him, and we're gonna give him that praise on today, amen. Amen. We all know the scripture, amen. Uh, today is coming from Hebrews, amen. The 10th chapter and the 24th verse amen amen and amen. to all of you on facebook and to zoom and however amen i'm not one that like to be on on display <laughs> amen but that's all right god is able isn't he yes, yes. amen by the help of the lord amen he'll see us all through yes, amen and to all the and to the young men that spoke so well and to the mc amen amen Amen. We just praise God. I'm just giving you time to get the scripture. Amen. 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 Scripture is coming from Hebrews. Amen. The 10th chapter and the 24th verse. And it reads, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Amen. To love and good works. Amen, amen. Amen, it says good works. It didn't say bad works, it said good works. Amen, so we need to do good works. Amen, amen, and his thought is to stir up the gift. Amen, and that's provoking unto good works. 
Amen. So Hebrew, this is a letter uh, that a chapter that is, uh, you may be seated, that the writer is unknown, or I should say uncertain. They have given place to Silas, Clement of Rome, Luke, Barnabas, <laughs> Apollos, and last but not least, to our very own Apostle Paul. Amen. So they've given credit to Paul for writing this letter. Amen. Because Paul was one of the ones that knew the law. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He knew the law. So this letter was written to the Hebrews, the Jewish Christians, who were undergoing persecutions and discouragement. So the writer strives to strengthen their faith in Christ by explaining the superiority and finality of God's revelation and redemption in Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Also, he shows that God's redemption, redemptive provision under the Old Testament covenant have been fulfilled. And I'm going to tell you, amen, if you still yet trying to live under the Old Testament, amen, amen, amen. I, there ain't no way that that can happen, amen. Amen. amen, because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came yes. and fulfilled yes. Yes. the law, amen, and he did that by shedding his blood on Calvary's cross. So if you're trying to still live those ten commandments, amen, if you're guilty of one, that means you are guilty of all. And so that law could not be kept. And God sent his only begotten son, who we know as Jesus Christ, amen, to come back to redeem his people back to him. So the writer challenges his readers to hold on to their profession of Christ until the end. Not only that, but to go on to spiritual maturity and not turn back abandoning faith in Christ Jesus. Amen. And a lot of us today, we still yet need to grow. Amen. In maturity. We need to develop. Amen. And you know, I hear all the time about, they say, well, nobody can live perfect. Well, we can live perfect. But it's saying that we can live perfect in him. It didn't say your sin. It didn't, it didn't point out anything that you're guilty of. But we can live perfect in him. And that's when we mature. That's when we grow up. And we develop in him. Amen. And how do we do that? We do that by studying and hearing the word of God. Amen. Amen. And then our faith will increase. Amen. But it's so sad to hear well, when you when, when the first thing somebody do, well, when they fall short, well, 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 ain't nobody perfect. You speak for yourself. Well, amen, amen. And I can live perfect in Him. Amen. amen. Because He is the one that's raising me up. He's the one that's raising you up. He's the one that is developing you in Him. Now we make mistakes. And we do sin occasionally. Yes. But who do we go to? Jesus. Amen. Amen. We go to the Father. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And we ask for forgiveness. We save. Amen. And you're going to be saved all over again. Because when you do that, you're putting it back up on the cross. Wow. But all you got to do is confess yes. and repent. Yes. Amen. Amen. There is a difference in, 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 in uh, perfection. In being perfect versus our sins. Yes. Amen. So next time you hear, don't let nobody tell you that, oh, you can't live perfect. Well, we know all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all we know that. But we can live in him. Amen. Amen. This man is perfect in him because he had matured in God. Amen. He got the power to go out. God has given him the ability to save, to witness, to lay hands. Yes, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord one more.
all time. For we know that the fulfilled and replaced by God is in his son, Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I thank God for Christ. I thank God for shedding his blood. Yes. Amen. That, that, that God sent him back that he can redeem us back to him. Jesus serves as our high priest under a better covenant. That's right. And that's our New Testament. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. A better sacrifice for our sins and shedding his blood. Matthew 5 and 16 says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, my good works. Amen. And glorify your father which is in heaven. And today his thought is stirring up the gift. Amen. Good works. Provoking you unto good works. Amen. And I looked up the word provoke. And all it meant was to stir up. Stir up. Just to stir up. Yeah. Amen. Good works would mean to stir up. That's right. Amen. 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 Good works. Good uh, are only good when they are spring from the principle of love to God. Yes. Amen. When you have that love of God, amen, you want to go about doing good. Yeah. You want to go about doing your father's business. Amen. And when I see our people still stuck on foolishness, they're not about God's business. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. They're so, so busy, hung up on, well, who's going to sing in the choir? Who's going to usher on the usher board? Who cannot usher on the board? I mean, we're so caught up on so many negative things that we can't see where God is trying to take us. Amen. Amen. So our good works should be able to speak for us. Yes, yes. So faith and love in the heart are essential elements to call true obedience. Good works are an expression of gratitude in the believer's heart. So that love got to start here. Yes. If we can't get the love of God in our hearts, amen, amen, we're still walking with the enemy. Not only walking with them, we're still yet kernel-minded believers, amen. Never want to grow up. Want to stay on milk, amen. Don't ever want to come forward and take responsibility. But the gratitude, the thankfulness, amen, to have a good heart that God has given you. And I was sharing not long ago the other day that when the Lord saved me, amen, I was seeking the Lord. I was praying, amen. I want everything that God had for me. It was speaking in tongues, amen. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted that. I wanted everything that God. And I was driving down the street, and all of a sudden, I came into the light. Amen. I, I felt like I was just living in darkness. I was going to and fro, doing everything that I was supposed to do but I was in darkness and a shadow came up over me well, amen amen and I began to see amen and my eyes have been open yeah. ever since ever and my eyes been open to the Lord amen my eyes been open to serve him with all that I have hey. I didn't wait till the Lord come along and, and, and knock me down make me crippled amen I've been serving God a long time yes, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. 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 So we need to learn to stir up. Amen. The gift that God has given us. Amen. Stir up to move or to stimulate or to increase. Amen. Don't be stagnant. Don't want to be a bench. Amen. A, a, a bench member. Amen. And pastor asks you to do something. Well, no, Pastor, I can't do that. Amen. 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 When he tells you to stand up and be counted. To even just wave your hand sometimes. Amen. So, you know, we should not have to beg beg our people to say amen. Amen. If you know the truth, you're a witness to the truth. But so many times we got to pump you up, pump you up, pump you up to give God glory and give him praise. Stir up. My God, stir up the gift that's on the inside of you. Amen. Amen. Even James 2, 17 and 18 says, even so faith, amen, if it has not works, it is dead. Be it alone. Amen. Yes. A, may, a man may say that thou hast faith and I have works. Then show me your faith without thy works. And I will show thee my faith 
by my works. So either way it go, whether you got faith, you got to have works. If you got works, you got to have faith. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. And you got to have faith in God. We got to trust God. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. We know faith is the substance. Well, the substance is trust God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Not trust man and then all the other evil things, but trust God. Amen, amen. So we are his workmanship. Come on. We are cre created, amen, in Christ to do good works, which God prepares beforehand that we should walk in them. Uh -huh. So truly we can say that God has not given us the fear, the spirit of fear, yes. but he has given us power. power. Somebody said power. Power. He has given us power. power. And what is that power? That ability, that authority. Yeah. Amen. To even once we say we become witness, he gives us that power. Yes, yes, On the day of Pentecost, amen. Amen. The power came down. And have given us the authority. Amen. And not only that, he has given us love. And a sound mind. Amen. He confused my mind. I'm not reprobated. Amen. He has given us a sound mind. Hallelujah. If we learn to trust God and believe God, amen, he'll do anything that we ask. If it's his will. Now, not my will, but his will. That he will give unto his children that love him. Amen. We are his workmanship. And we ought to be able to give God glory and give him praise. We ought to be able to go out and be witnesses. Tell men and women, boys and girls, for God I live, for God I die. Tell them that God shed in his blood for you on Calvary's cross. That he gave us the right to eternal life. And we're looking one day, amen, for that, that, that great day to come. Amen. Because he hung. He hung on the cross. Amen. Amen. He hung and he didn't have to because he could have came down. But for you and I, he shed his blood yes, on Calvary's cross. That yeah. we can have this right to the tree of life. Somebody yeah. say hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus, for salvation. Thank you for saving a wretch like me. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together today. It be good. Great sermon. Is that word good? Yeah. That word that goes through and penetrates. Gives us an opportunity to bow down before the Lord today. Come on, say, woman of God, you did what the Lord has sent you to do. We receive so we can achieve. And we're going to go forward and do what God has called us to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Be here another hour. I feel the spirit of God. Amen. I guess this is when it comes back to me now, huh? You know, I wasn't supposed to be a part of the service, but I'm glad I was. Amen. I can't sit down. Amen. I just, no, no. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. And somebody asked me, says, Is the service going to be an hour? I'm like, No, nah, I turned it over. Because y'all know me. I start at 10 and we end at what? Well, no, 1045 now. No. 11, amen, but we do what God has called us to do, but I just want to say thank you for your traveling, thank you for your giving, thank you for your fellowship, but most of all, thank you for, for being in agreement with me that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you celebrate me, celebrate the Jesus in me. If you celebrate what I'm doing, you start doing it too, because God has put us out there that we can be examples. That's what that, that scripture is, is to provoke on through, to, to stir up the gift, but to provoke through love and good works. You yeah. can't tell me what to do if you don't love me first. Yeah. And then if you don't show me through your works, how am I ever going to follow what you do? Because well, you can tell me a lot, and I'm always going to do what I want to do. Yeah. But if I love you first, that lets you know that maybe you don't know everything. And then through good works, to show you that somebody's done it before you. And I was sharing with the young man. I said, bro, you ain't got to go through nothing. Because he sent you to somebody that every experience you can go through, you can ask me. And I'll be like, yeah, I did it. Don't go there. And that's what mentorship is. Not telling somebody what to do, but showing them through what? Love 
and good works. Amen. Amen. Let the church, come on, stand to your feet. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Uh, let the church say amen. Uh, let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. We will let you kind of take us out of here as we are dismissed. Amen. Come on, bro. You can do one more. You can pick the one you want. Let's thank the Lord then. Amen. Can we do that? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. There you go, right there. All your stuff right there. All right, everybody. Praise God. Man of God, we love you. Keep up the good works. Amen. You've been an inspiration to me for a long time. And brother's always been there. Dirty the others wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Like battling my addiction and all that stuff, God sent you. Amen. But at the same time, he sent everyone else. Yeah, time we just gotta give he gave us this day, so we gonna have a good time on this day, on this on this beautiful day. Let's go. All I want to do is yeah. life for you. What? If you know the sound, go ahead and sing with me. Oh, yeah. Thank you for making me new, Father. Praise God. Oh, my God. I love you. All I want to do is live a pleasing life for you. Praise your name in every single thing that I do. Ooh, yeah. Thank you for making me new, Father. You all ready? But you cannot lose, Father. Covered by the blood of Christ. Every day I sacrifice. Ever since I got saved, it's like I live another life. Yeah, I'm focused and I want this. It's guaranteed that I won't miss. I am a king and I am a dream and that's why I've been chosen. Lord, I am a sinner repenting for all the sin that I've committed and Lord, my worthy you do not deserve to be here. You know my pain, you know my story. I am a vessel, you speak for your glory. You told me to never ever worry as long as I protect you. my holy anointing. Sprinkle me with holy water, I do this for my only daughter. Guide my steps, lie my flesh, me, you did that hard. I don't want to live if I can't live for you. And you know this. I was broken and hopeless, and I'm focusing on you in the midst of adversity. You gave me the gift of diversity, but everybody seen the worst of me. And puts the curse on me. Now I gotta push the first, gotta do what works. I just wanna earn it. I just wanna be the one that everybody wanna come to for learning. Yeah, all I wanna do is live a pleasing life for you. Praise your name in every single thing that I do. Yeah. Thank you for making me new, Father. Y'all thank the Lord. Y'all thank you for every day. You thank God for your life. You thank God for your family. You thank God for your heart. When you can walk, you can see, you can breathe. You are all blessed. But everybody got a story to tell. Testimony come from death. Resurrect to resurrect. Immaculate mental conception. I follow your steps. Though I'm in this world, I am not of it. I was set apart like a set of boys. So please do not judge me. I'm doing your word. I'm doing your work. My baby's is increasing every day. It feels like I'm moving on earth. I just want to get back to my community and make this a better world for you and me. I just want to bring the blood and groups together so we can make peace and unity now. Now, who coming with me? When I'm going, will you miss me? It's good for everybody trying to change. We love you. Hey. Love you, bro. Everybody give thanks, man. Y'all have a good one. Be more love. Put more love in this world. Your life should be one big expression of love. If they don't like you, you still love them. If they go crazy, you still love them. You can do your best to be of service to God. You can do your best to play your part because God is watching you. And he will reward you based on your obedience and sacrifices. Live right. We love you. I am you, God. Pastor E, I love you. Everybody, the organizers. Frankie, everybody, we love you. Keep up the good work. And let's do what we got to do to push the agenda of the kingdom. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. Amen, amen. Now, don't leave. I need everybody up here to take a picture. Amen. I need everybody here to take a picture with me before you go so we can say this before we get you out of here. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Give you kind of a hand of praise. But most of all, give the woman a hand of praise for an awesome word today. Stop. I wanted to preach. You know that's a word. But I want to preach and keep you here till 3 o'clock. 
Come on, bless the Lord. Amen. Uh, Jeremiah, if you guys can come get this stuff out the way for me. Amen. We're going to take a picture up here. You got something to say? Come on, little preacher. Actually, everyone got to pray everywhere. So, you got to pray in the car. At night. Yeah. In the morning. Yeah. When you're eating dinner. Yes. And when you're eating in the morning. Yeah, okay, okay. You got to pray. You don't feel like it. You got to pray. When you're eating like something that is good, <laughs> you have to pray first. Yes, yes. That's what you always have to do. Yes, amen. 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 Love the church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all missed it. This is my praise and worship leader. Normally, when I do praise and worship, she's up here singing with me. She's been in her, she been in her own self last time I seen her. But the girl has such a talent. Keep praying for her that God's keep initiating her. And she watched you, girl. She ready to dance. See, we got your first student already. She was over there doing something. She seen you jump. She came over here and she looked and I said, "Oh, we got her." See, you got her. There's a lot of different ways. And then. You, you, you would think praise and worship is not rap. Yes, it is. I, I want to serve you. You know, we got to we got to learn to utilize all of our gifts in the church. I was telling him, write a song. Come on, bro. I played his song yesterday up in here. I can't play it for y'all because they got a couple of descriptive words. In. But anyway, this is where we come to fellowship each other. That's what church really is, is that you can, can shine. So if you want to sing. If you want to preach, if you want to dance, if you want to do, come on over to the Now Church oh, California amen. and you can do what God has called you to do. Amen? Amen. 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 If we can get these chairs out of here so we can take a picture up here. Uh, yeah, move, yeah, just put it right over there. That's her water. So grab that water and take that in, in there for her or whatever. Uh, somebody come get this table. Tony, come get this chair. There we go. Amen. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Love you guys. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.